Over here we got uh, Colonel Cutlass. Cutlass, I don't have a fancy definition, but that's the thing the pirates use. Pretty awesome. There you are, lad. You go on home ahead of me, all right? I have an errand to run. It's your 16th birthday tomorrow after all. I suppose I'd best find you a present of some sort, eh? Kaboom woke you, sleepyhead. The next spell I had lined up could have hurt. I bet you're tired from your turn with old Dao yesterday, eh? But you know what today is, don't you? Yes, I've heard it like three times already. Aye, that it is. Your 16th birthday, lad. The day the Queen will order you to take the walk of the worthy, and you'll become a man. So, don't keep Her Majesty waiting, son. Get yourself sorted, and head over to the castle. This is our house. Not much of interest here. We got two beds. Really the only thing of interest is this chest, which lets you store thousands of gold, but only in increments of 1,000, so it's completely useless to us right now. Off we go. So, we need to go see Professor Kurtana to receive our first sword and go on our Pokemon, I mean, uh, Dragon Quest journey. So, off we go. I do love loading screens. I don't think there are enough loading screens in this game. Whoosh. Oh yeah, this person, this person. Minor character, you completely skip her, but uh, she has a little minor romance subplot that you can pay attention to if you feel like. And that they are. This guy's cool too. I like him. So in case you didn't know or notice, um, character designs in this game are made by Akira Toriyama, the guy who did all the Dragon Quest games, uh, Chrono Trigger, and of course the Dragon Ball series. So he is a very recognizable, distinctive style that you'll have to get used to. Felicitations, birthday boy! How peculiar for you to be visiting the castle alone! I don't like this guy. Purely because of his accent. I imagine you're here to meet with Mother. How unfortunate. She's made it quite clear that she does not wish to entertain visitors at present. She has even refused to grant me an audience. Her own son. Sorry. I am desperately worried about her. Oh, and this guy, this guy's cool. Your Highness, I trust all is tickety-boo. I so wish that he had the voice of the priest from the Princess Bride. Ah, Minister Misericord. My young friend here is celebrating his 16th birthday today. Accordingly, he has come for an audience with Mother. Uh, Misericord is some church wooden shelf thing. 
Not actually a sword. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Uh, unfortunately, the Queen is somewhat... <clears throat> ...unavailable. Yes, this does give rise to a most vexing dilemma. What to do? What to do? Bingo! I have it! I shall momentarily assume the role of Her Majesty and convey the procedure of the walk in her place. Yeah, screw tradition. Excellent, Minister. I myself must away. Training beckons, you understand. So I shall leave this matter in your capable hands. I wasn't aware that away was a verb. I shall come, if I may, somewhat directly to the... Uh, yes? Talk quicker. To the... Um, point. Jesus. As you have now come of age, you are required to undertake the walk of the worthy. It is a long-standing tradition of the Kingdom of Avalonia. A trial to establish your merit, if you will. Avalonia is a microcontinent, by the way. Ancient microcontinent from Europe. Beyond the plains to the north, you will find the notorious Caliburn Cave. The Walk of the Worthy merely requires you to return safely from its innermost chamber. The Worth of Worth. Caliburn, of course, references Excalibur, the mythological uh, sword from the King Arthur legends. Pretty obvious if you played Sonic the Black Knight. I have little doubt that you, one of Avalonia's most promising young talents, will succeed and return triumphant. I love this shot. Look at that. Anyway, minor pointless thing that I just want to show. Yay. That's not what I want to show. So you can see there's a mirror above there, and you can actually see yourself there. But mirrors are also a motif in this game, as judged by the name, clearly. Now we're free to explore the town at this point, but there's not much for us. We can't afford much at the shops. And, uh, we don't have enough supplies to, uh, do anything cool. Oh, god damn it! I guess the protagonist was reluctant to leave. Anyway, we got a couple, uh, barrels we can open. Somewhere here. Yeah, nothing too great at this point. Off we go. We can head to Caliburn Cave. Hello there, young man. The Colonel told us you'd be heading out of town today. You're off to take the walk, aren't you? Yep. Right, well, I'd better open the gates then. Hey, better, I'll kill you. Heading off to Caliburn Cave already, are you, lad? Yeah, no thanks to you. I'd like to say I'll go with you, but... Uh... That wouldn't make it much of a trial, now, would it? And I'll keep in track of the handicap. That might be challenging. No, lad. This is something you've got to do on your own. I'll be thinking of you, though. I may even remember to raise a glass to you down the pub. Yeah, Claymore's kind of an ass, but I still like him. <laughs> Typical Claymore. Same as ever. Well, good luck on the walk. Just follow the path across the plains, and you'll be at Caliburn Cave before you know it. And this is the world map. Point and go. Pretty simple.